Hello everyone and welcome to the video and a happy new year and I hope you all had a terrific Christmas as well. Right, so what we got today is a little um, semi unboxing, semi sort of just putting some dirt in there and showing off my new tank for my dumpies. And I've waited quite a long time for this and I'm really excited to have it. It's a 30 by 30 by 60 and it's made by Zoomed. So it's a good quality tank and I'm very happy with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the dirt in, which is cocoa fibre, which is a, a cocoa husk, which I can show you. So this is how it looks. I mean, it comes in a bigger brick and you basically put it in water. Best work it with warm water, I found. It's much more pliable that way. It'll absorb the water over a period of time and then it turns into a big, big medium. It turns into a lot of, lot of substance in this little brick. It's quite, quite a lot. So be ready for that. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to start bringing over the dirt and I'll show you what the cocoa fibre looks like as it's, as it's done, so you can see it, and then we're going to put it in. Right, so this is all pre-done that I've just made up, and there it is. It kind of looks like the Jurassic Park poop, doesn't it? You remember the Triceratops poop? Kind of looks like that, doesn't it? Doesn't smell. It's lovely, lovely stuff, great. And as you can see, it's perfect for using for amphibians and reptiles and such. As I've said in many videos before, this is great stuff. Everyone should be using it. And right, yo. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that out, and then we're going to put that in. So we'll do that now. So now we're going to put the cocoa fiber in. And the best way to do this is just don't be shy. Chuck it in. And Seymour's had his. I guess this wouldn't be an ant trail video without mention of Simo. The monster frog. You know guys, Simo uh, actually bit me. Yeah, he showed me his boss. He yelled me with his teeth and then let me go. <laughs> it's like I could kill you now, mortal. But I decided not to. Now feed me. And I obliged. Oh, this is great. This is lovely stuff. And my dumpies really need this. So now that little tank that I have, that they were in, I say little tank, it's a 30 by 30 by 6 by, what is it, 30 by 30 by 30, isn't it? Yeah. So that tank can be used for a, uh, a little special guest I'm going to be getting pretty soon. And all, the, all the frogs are fine. Everyone's good. It's all good. There's plenty of cocoa fibre, isn't it? It's really quite a bit there. Let's get it, get it, get it in there. It helps with the humidity. And also cushions any uh, falls, you know? Because it's loosely packed. It's kind of soft. And that's great. So if any of my dumpies take a little slip, they're not going to hurt themselves. They're going to land in a cocoa fibre bed. Soft one. Yeah, sorry for the delays in videos, there's been a few hiccups along the road, but nothing with the frogs. The frogs are absolutely great, alright? There'll be a Seymour video coming soon, it's already been made. And there's a little bit more of an explanation in that. So, yeah. That's a good chunk. Right there. Lovely. Beautiful. Now this is a waterproof tank, by the way, at the bottom of the base, uh, here at the bottom of the base, is all waterproof, so, yeah. Sorry I'm doing this in the evening, I just refuse to get my dumpies out during the day, they're nocturnal and they hate the day, and it stresses them out. So, I'm going to grab my dumpies now. So as you can see, here's the smaller tank, I'll use this for another species of Something, surprise, surprise, but not yet. And here is Abe. Here is Abe, all beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, aren't you, Abe, baby? Yeah. I think Abe is a boy, and I think Lolly is the girl. Let me get Lolly. Lolly is more of the, uh, 
brighter colours you can see. Absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely wonderful pet frogs. If you're looking to get a pet frog, get a dumpy. They are absolutely wonderful. I've had so much fun with these. Gonna definitely get more. Yeah. So let's place her on the tank and she'll do her own thing. Let's place him on the tank and maybe he'll do his own thing. Right, let's just close that moment so I don't want them. Oops. Let's put some of their stuff in there. Doesn't matter if they fall, they're soft. And these are climbing frogs anyway, so they jump quite high distances and land on quite hard surfaces like trees and such. They're not scared of a little bump. That's why they're so quick just to jump. We're going to upgrade the uh, foliage inside. I would like to do a bioactive one. No, he's just trying to squeeze through the gap there. That's not going to happen, sweetheart. You know, go into the trees. Look, canopy. Okay, she's away. Oh, yeah. Good tall that is, huh? That's at least twice as tall. Well, there they are, in their little habitat. Much better, much better. I'm just going to put this in. A bit of... On there. Let me just slap that in there. Put that there so they can hide. Very simple, just for now. I'll, I'm going to look into the bioactive stuff. I just don't know what's safe to use with these. They're Indonesian. And I've been reading on some forums that people have been having problems with some foliage going in with their frogs. And that's kind of put me off. If it's not well ventilated, and this isn't, a, as you can see, a well ventilated tank. It's a setup. Let's put that up in the corner over there so it gives them something to work behind as well. Hello, darling. As you can see, they're just lovely frogs, honestly. If you want a frog, get one of these guys. If you're undecided, get a dumpy. They're beautiful. Right, guys, anyway, that's it for now. And I'll check back in in a couple of days with these ones and I'll probably do a video, an update video on them proper and show you guys proper in the daylight how they look but as you can see they're beautiful frogs so friendly yes lolly hoppy alright guys and trails out